Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to install Ghost Spectre Windows 10 custom ISO in VirtualBox. So let's get started. So launch VirtualBox and we want to hit the new virtual machine button. Give it a name. I'm going to name it as Windows 10 Ghost Spectre. And then we'll hit next. I will change the RAM allocation from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes. We'll create a virtual hard disk. I'm gonna make it 30 gigabytes since it's only for demonstration purposes. Now we want to make sure the ISO is loaded into our virtual machine. We'll go to the storage section, click on load disk file. At this point, we wanna to navigate to where the Ghost Spectre Windows 10 ISO is located. Next, I want to make some changes in the system tab. We'll increase the number of processors to four, and then we'll make sure the display is 128 megabytes, or if you have a 256 megabyte option, you can go ahead and enter that. Next, we'll launch the virtual machine, and we'll give it a few minutes to go up to the boot screen and then launch the Windows 10 installation menu. We'll click next at this point. If you have a product key, Go ahead and enter it. I will skip it for now. Now we have the option of choosing which version of Windows 10 you want. The compact version is an untouched version. It has no tweaking, but with just apps and bloatware removed. It is recommended for standard users. Also suitable for office, laptops, servers, etc. It also has a flavor with the Windows Defender. If you want it, you can go ahead and select that option. The other options include Super light. This version is already tweaked. It is for advanced users. It is most suitable for gaming and streaming. I will hit the accept license. Now we have the option of upgrading our custom install. This is a fresh install. I will go with the custom and we'll select our drive. And we're off to installation of Windows 10. This will take a few minutes, so go ahead and take a coffee break if you have to. I'm going to skip ahead a few segments to show the progress. And we're almost done installation. Now the computer is going to reboot and we'll be welcome to the Ghost Vector desktop. Here we can enter the password for the default user, which is the administrator. If you want to make a new account, you can go into the control panel and add a new user. This is the desktop of Ghost Spectre. It's going to launch some optimizations, which can take additional few minutes. Once it's done, your desktop should look something like this. Now you have the option of choosing which Windows version you want. I'm going to go with option number two, which is the 21H2. This will restart the computer. So go ahead and do that. And after the restart, essentially, you can go ahead and launch the Ghost Spectre toolbox, which has a lot of tweaks and features inside it. As you can see, the baseline usage of Ghost Spectre is very low. Now let's see what programs are installed. All the bloatware is removed, you just have bare minimum Windows security and Windows accessory options in here. This is what the Ghost Spectre toolbox looks like. You can go through a lot of these options and customize and install whatever programs you may desire. So this is how you install Ghost Spectre Windows 10 ISO in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.